Okay, so in this video we're given a set and we're being asked to prove that it is closed under addition. Let's go ahead and prove it. So proof. So first, uh, what do we mean by addition of functions in this set? Let me just refresh your memory. So given two elements in this set, say f and g and s, these are functions from r to r, uh, by addition we mean the new function which we create by writing f plus g. And f plus g is defined as follows. f plus g of an element x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So just regular addition, this is how it's defined. So we just have to take two functions in the set and show that the sum is also in the set. So let's do that. So uh, suppose that we have uh, f and g in our set s. And so now we have to show that f plus g is also an s. So claim, just to be extra clear, we have to show that this new function, f plus g, is also an element in s. That's what it means to be closed under addition. So now we just have to show that uh, f plus g of 0 is, is equal to 0. Notice how I wrote this uh, outside of the proof. This is, this is what we have to show. Right, f plus g of 0 is equal to 0. That's what it means for f plus g to be in this set. Right? This is the set of all functions from r to r such that f of 0 is 0. So if f plus g is going to be inside the set, then f plus g of 0 is equal to 0. So that's the natural thing to look at. So then f plus g of 0, well, what is that? Well, now we use the definition of addition. That's equal to f of 0 plus g of 0. But that's equal to 0 plus 0. And this is because f and g are in the set. So this is since f and g are an s. right? Because f is an s, f of 0 is 0. Because g is an s, g of 0 is 0. And that's equal to 0. So we have f plus g of 0 equal to 0. This is precisely what it means for f plus g to be an s. So f plus g is also an element in S. And so we've shown that S is closed under the operation of addition. We took two elements, F, G, and S, and we showed that the sum is also in S, and that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.